But the Braves have really tamped down the Miami Marlins offensively in this series and try to do that again today is Kyle Wright. Yeah, Kyle Wright going out there today for his fourth start of the year. 0-1 on the year. Pretty good start his last time out, like I said, against Houston. Jazz Chisholm Jr. leading off. And Jazz takes the walk. A little extra pause on that one before the ball four bat flip there. Jazz going. Throw from Trump is off mark and a stolen base for Jazz. And Coop's got a job to do. You got to get Jazz over to third base or you got to drive him in. 0 oh, 2 and Cooper swings and misses. Good pitch by Kyle Wright, one away. Now Brian De La Cruz in the three spot. And that is right in there. So a strikeout swinging for Cooper. Now a strikeout looking for Brian De La Cruz, two away. A rise who's 0 for 4 in this series. Jazz Chisholm breaks for third. Weakly grounded to the right side. Kyle covers. Side retired. Lead off walk, no problem. Braxton Garrett, who makes his fourth start of the season. Marlins are 3 and 1 so far in the games in which he's pitched. Fifth game after starting the year as the long man. Acuna will be followed by Olsen and Riley here in the bottom of a score this first inning. 3 2 to Acuna. That and grounded to third base, and it's Segura scooping it up. High throw, but Guriel gets back down to the bag, and there's one away. Waved at and missed, and it's a strikeout for Garrett, two away. One, two, and Riley went around. A couple of strikeouts in the first inning for Braxton Garrett. Sets him down in order. Garrett Hampson leading off for Miami, number nine man. Then go from there. But if Hampson keeps doing what he's doing, he'll make it a tough decision. Marlins with the top of the order coming up now need to do something. Got him. Chased it downstairs. And for Kyle Wright, he has four strikeouts now. There it is. And Cooper swung and missed again. And he got him. He strikes out three in a row after the single to Hampson. Well, it was drizzling when we went to break, and the skies just opened up, and that is never a sight you want to see at a Major League Baseball stadium. But it went from virtually nothing to a downpour very quickly. We knew this was a possibility, and unfortunately it comes before we can get to the fourth inning. After what will be an over three-hour delay, Colin McHugh will now take over in the center of the diamond as we go to the fourth inning. Luis Arise ready to go to Riley and passed him, in fact, down the third baseline into left field. Arise will stop at first base and a leadoff base hit. Up the middle off of Albies, trickles into shallow center. Should be a base hit for Gene Segura. Marlins will have a couple on with one out. Guriel with an opportunity here. This could be a double play ball indeed. Four, six, three. Couple of hits, but Miami still scoreless. Sean Murphy will lead things off. He is not catching today, just a designated hitter. Bounced another one up there, and the Braves have the leadoff man aboard here. Here's Grissom. Vaughn Grissom lays down a beauty, and Segura's going to have to stick it in his pocket. Two on, nobody out. And now a real opportunity for Atlanta. Eddie Rosario bats. Eddie to left center, and it drops. De La Cruz fires in, but Murphy gets to third, no problem. They are loaded. Matt Barnes frustrated. Now he deals with Kevin Pillar. Missed, and the Braves take the lead on a walk to Kevin Pillar. Chadwick Trump stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. And Trump deposits this out in the left. Eddie's going to be held at third, but Grissom scores, and it's two to nothing Atlanta. And for Chadwick Trump, his first run driven in this year. And now you got the top of that Braves lineup and nobody out. 1 1 right back up the middle. Great stop, but it's Bob. Outstanding play by Luis Arise to slow that ground ball down and to make a play in. He shuffled the ball to Hampson. I don't know if he caught Hampson off guard. Well, actually, he tried to barehand that ball, and that's where he did not, uh, wasn't able to catch it. So, still nobody out. Three runs in. Base is loaded. Barnes exits. Okert coming in. Faces Olsen here. First pitch swinging the other way off the bat of Olsen. And it's bobbled again, but Segura is able to at least get one. However, Pilar scores, and it's four to nothing Atlanta. So you now have Acuna at second, Olsen at first, one out. That one gets away. Acuna thought, oh no. Now they're going to throw down and have Matt in a rundown here. Cat and mouse game all over the place. Ronald breaks, and now he's just going to have to give himself up. 
Ronald started and then Matt went and then Matt was too far off of first base and then they had him in trouble. Eddie Rosario will lead things off. Hard hit ball and it's between Gurriel and Arise for a leadoff single. Hey, Eddie's starting to heat up a little bit. Two down for Acuna. He's been on once. 3 2 pitch. Missed down and in. So Eddie will go to second. Ronald to first. Possible insurance with Matt Olson coming up. Who inside and it hit him. And the bases are loaded. And he does just that. And it was the breaking ball. Braves leave him loaded. Former Marlon Nick Anderson to take over against the top of the Marlins order. Ozzy Albies, nice diving stop. And he spoils a possible hit for Chisel. Ozzy's been on fire at the plate. His defense has been very good, too. And he once again gives us a highlight real play. So here we go to the ninth. And A.J. Minter, who didn't pitch in the first two games of the series, but did throw 12 pitches last night, is back out there. Luis Arise. He'll lead off. But it works. Another base hit for Luis Arise. So Segura with a base hit back in the fourth inning. One for three today. And Segura, base hit into right field. Acuna Jr. off the glove. Arise on his way to third. He'll stop right there. Segura gets into second. The Marlins have two on and one out. That's to right field. Acuna Jr. going back, and it's over his head. Bangs off the wall. One run's going to score. They will hold Segura at third base. And the Marlins avoid the shutout and, most importantly, bring the tying run to the plate. Runner goes from first. That one line. Base hit into left field. Goriel's going to head to third. Segura scores on the RBI pinch hit single for Avi Garcia, and the Marlins are within two. So if Jazz can find a gap, this game is all but tied. 1-0 pitch. Jazz, that is going to get down, cut off by Acuna Jr. Birdie's going to get to third. Marlins are down 4-3. He is out. And Jesse Chavez is going to try to come in here to get the final out of what has become a dramatic top of the ninth at Truist Park. Now a base hit could give the Marlins the lead from home plate. And Garrett Cooper right center gets down and going to get to the wall. Two runs are in and the Marlins take the lead in the ninth. What a wonderful comeback here in the ninth inning by the Marlins. Started by a rise. Some great at-bats. Uh, Garrett Cooper, two RBI double, has given the Marlins a 5-4 lead after being held silent all day. So it is Floro, and as we mentioned before, nobody wanted to get back on the mound more so than Dylan Floro. I mean, this season the Braves are 0-6 when trailing after eight innings. Ground ball, right side. That's a rise, and that is out number one. And it will be, as Jeff told you, Hilliard that grabs a bat. If you're going to wait around for three hours, you might as well win it. And the Marlins are an out away from doing that. A called strike three. Adrianza will come on here and pitch hit in the ninth spot of the order. 2-2. Two -two. Is a called strike three. It's a Marlins win. Boy, how many games have the Marlins played in this ballpark that felt like the exact opposite? A lead late that somehow slips through the cracks. And finally, the Marlins give the Braves a dose of their own medicine. 5-4, the final score today.